So today I'm going to show you how to use the OPA and MPA. This is perfect for anyone who's doing BLS or ACLS course or even PALS. So this right here is called the MPA. So what we want, we're going to just get straight to work, right? What we want is we want this MPA to be measured from the patient's nose and it has to stop at the patient's earlobe. So this one was a little bit big. So as you can see for this one, we're just going to measure it again. Um, this size is pretty good, but maybe there's a better size for it. So let's go ahead and let's check to see if there's a net size that we could possibly use. All right, so this size is more, you know, it fits better, it looks better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this size, this size MPA. MPAs is used to create a patent airway for the patient. All right, so we're gonna act like this patient has a sealed jar. For whatever reason, we can't ventilate the patient. Something is blocking the airway through their mouth. We're gonna use the MPAs. The MPAs, we're gonna use the MPAs. Make sure you use water-based lubricant. You can find water-based lubricant nearly anywhere and everywhere in the hospital, clinics. This is perfect, all right? There's no special technique to use this gel right so you could place it on however you want to place it as long as you have water-based lubricant you should be fine so if you're taking the acls course and the instructor tells you to go ahead and place lubricant that don't look at the instructor just go ahead and just dive in by lubricating you just want to make sure the belville is facing downwards as you can see the belville is the opening right so what you're going to do is keep the belville face downwards you see here's the belville facing downwards, going into the patient's nose, all right? So in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and just place this in the patient's nose. As you can see, I'm gonna slowly push it in there. If you ever feel resistance, do not continue pushing, just pull it out. As you can see, I place this in the patient's nose. Patient has a pain in the airway. Let's go ahead and make sure it works. Use my amber bag, the chest rise, it works, all right? So it's extremely important if you're taking ACLS, if you're taking BLS, or you're taking PALS course, this is very important to know. So you wanna make sure that you measure it properly, as you can see. Remember, you're gonna use water-based lubricant to prevent any friction, of course. So as you can see, the belt is down, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the patient's nose. Do not force this in the patient's nose. It doesn't matter. Just take it out if you have to and go ahead and reset it to the opposite side. Do not push this. You will cause the patient to have internal damage. We don't want that to happen. So if you're a nurse or a BLS, um, EMT, paramedic, whatever you are, working respiratory, of course, respiratory technicians, right? You want to make sure just go ahead and place it in the opposite side. All right, so as you can see, this goes in nice and smoothly. I need to test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and bag the patient, one and two. And every single time you bag the patient, if you did see the patient's chest rise, that means that you have a patent airway for the patient. So right now, I'm gonna show you how to use the OPA. A OPA is used when you have a patient who's unconscious. The patient must be unconscious. All right, with this OPA, as you can see, it's gonna prevent the tongue from falling back into the airway. The OPA is used to prevent the patient's tongue from falling back into the airway. So let's say if you're bagging the patient and for whatever reason, you lift the, perform the head tilt chip lift and you notice the patient's tongue was blocking the airway, so you're gonna go get an OPA. So what I'm doing right now, I'm measuring the OPA. You wanna make sure it goes from the mouth to the bottom of the mandible. As you can see, the sizes that I collected before, if you like to rewind this, go ahead, you will notice that they're big. They're passing the patient's jaw line, which is the lower part of the jaw, which is the mandible. This is the perfect size, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the size. So I'm gonna use a tongue depressor to hold the patient's tongue to prevent it from falling back into the airway because we can't bag a patient whose tongue is in the airway because it's blocking our airway. So you hold the patient's tongue, prevent the patient's tongue from falling in the airway. Now you want this OPA to come towards you just like this. Once you reach the patient's heart palate, so once you reach the patient's heart palate, as you can see right here, right? The top of the mouth, 
Once you hit it, you're going to rotate it. All right. You're going to clockwise rotate it and it goes directly behind the patient's tongue and it prevents the patient's tongue from falling back into the airway. So for whatever reason now, if you need to suction the patient, go ahead and use suction. If you're in ACLS course, keep in mind, we don't suction a patient for more than 10 seconds. If you're an EMT or paramedic, we do not suction a patient for more than 10 seconds at a time. All right, so as you can see, you can see the OPAs right there, preventing the patient's tongue from falling back into the airway. All right, so this is what the OPA is used for. It's only used for unconscious patients to prevent the patient's tongue from falling back into the airway. All right, as you can see. And this part is fine. It can sit right there on top of the teeth or whatever the case is. Now I need to verify and make sure it works. I'm going to go ahead and bag the patient. Pointy part always on the patient's nose. And the wide part covers the mouth when you have this pocket mask. As you can see, I'm going to use the C and E technique. All right. So if you're taking any BLS course, every healthcare provider, if you're ACLS, you should know this. All right. These are test questions that I'm actually helping you out with. All right. So the C and E technique is a technique that you use to hold the ambu bag, which is also known as the bag valve mask. And this is how it works. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. As you can see, this is the OPA. The OPA is only used for a patient who's unconscious. As you can see, it's passing the patient's lower part of the jar, which is known as the mandible. This is ACLS skills for airway. So if you're taking an ACLS course, if you know this, you're gonna be good to go. This is gonna go in a J motion. As you can see, you see the J? Once you hit the heart palate, rotate it, right? It's extremely important. Once you reach the patient's heart palate, right? Place this in the patient's mouth, and you rotate just like that. This is used to prevent the patient's tongue from falling into the airway, all right? So it's very important. If you need to suction the patient, go ahead and suction the patient. You use your ambu bag, verify. This is the C and E technique I'm about to use. As you can see, the top part of my hands are a C, and if you look at the other side of the screen, it's an E. Keep in mind, green means oxygen, just in case, all right? You always wanna use high flow oxygen, I'm using 15 liters to bag the patient. Once you see the patient's chest rise, then you know that you're doing it properly. Other than that, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at the Emergency Training Center.